You've seen it. Now he can hear you. You've touched it. Now he can see you. Never ring it. If you hear it, he can touch you. All I'm trying to say is that Joe Schmo guy wasn't as nice as I initially thought. But before he knocked me out, he really wasn't that bad of a guy. Corey, he's an SCP. You really shouldn't be getting that invested in his well-being. That's not how I do things, Cole. All I do is get invested. You're not with the serpent's hand anymore. You can't be getting attached. Things can go wrong real fast here. Yeah, some newbie on their first day could cause a site-wide containment breach. Wait, did that happen to you? Whoa, what's going on? Must have been an earthquake. An earthquake? Don't we have some sort of anti-earthquake SCP that we can use? No, I don't think that's a thing. At least it's over now. I'm not so sure. What? Why? Corey. We're in a prison for supernatural beings. Taking the whole thing and shaking it might cause some problems. Well, when you put it like that. Yeah, so why don't you go check in with Dr. Patience and see what you can help with. Hey, you're not the one who's supposed to be giving orders. Last I checked, I have seniority and rank over you. And yeah, here I am. Now go. Okay, geez. Everything's back in order. Hey, Doc. Oh, no. What now? Nice to see you, too. This is a very stressful day, Corey. That earthquake has disrupted just about every facility function. I know. That's why I'm here to help. What can I do? You want to help? Is that weird? Yes. Yes, it is. Wow. But... If you want to help, I've just the task for you. It's not anything dangerous, is it? No, it's not anything that will put you in danger. That doesn't sound ominous at all. There's an SCP that needs to be checked on in the event of an earthquake. Okay, what is it? It's SCP-513, a cowbell. An SCP that's a cowbell. Doesn't sound dangerous. You should know by now that Everything is dangerous. True. So, how will this cowbell horribly murder me? Well, if you hear the cowbell's horrid ring, you will immediately become overcome with a sense of anxiety and dread. Sounds like the school bell on exam day. Am I right? <laughs> High five. Nope. Okay, that's fine, too. We can just stand here. Let's just say you taking the SATs is preferable to hearing this cowbell. Sounds like we should leave it alone. Protocol states that we must check on it and re-secure it if there is any damage to its containment case. Do we really need to secure it? Yes, it's in our name. Yep, uh, yep, that's that's right. Secure, contain, protect. Dang. Now go, shoo! I've already said for a Class D personnel to check on it. They just need a supervisor. All right. And Corey, make sure you do not hear that bell. Yeah, we'll do, Doc. I'll just block my ears. Hey. 
Hey. You must be the Class D guy that's going to be helping me. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> nice to meet you. It should be pretty easy. All you have to do is make sure there's no cracks in the containment cube, all right? Sounds easy enough. Yep, nothing to it. Just easy. Now, just put on your ear protection and let's get started. My what now? You know, like earplugs, earmuffs, that sort of thing. I didn't receive anything like that. Oh, <clears throat> um, okay. I, I'm sure you'll be fine. Just, uh, just, just be very gentle with it and don't let the cowbell ring. Okay. I think I could do that. What happens if I do ring it though? Oh, nothing too bad. Uh, just don't worry about it. Um, okay. Let's get started. All right, Class D guy, what do you see? Say, why ain't you in here with me? Well, I'm here to make sure um, everything goes as planned. And you're here for if things don't go as planned. That makes me feel great. What do you see? Any cracks? Yeah, I see a big one. What do we do? All right, you're going to have to transfer the bell into a new cube of goo. There should be a spare one in the corner. Okay, I see them. Now carefully remove the bell and place it into the new container. Well, this doesn't seem so hard. If you're talking, I can't hear you. I've turned off the intercom in the room. So I could call you a good-for-nothing son of a gun and you wouldn't hear me? I'm sure you just called me something bad, so don't do that. This guy is a weirdo. Okay, I still can't hear you, but just keep calm and complete the task. Put the bell into the cube. Fine. I, I could do this. I hope. I, I can. Just finish the job. There. I did it. Now let me out. Okay, let me just come around. Okay. They'll be letting me out any second. Just, just gotta wait. Right here. Yeah, except he's not coming back. He left me in here. Some horrible monster is going to show up and eat me. Oh, God. Oh, no. Ah. Come on, let's get you back to your room. Well, Doc, I got that all handled. That's a relief. I trust there were no complications. Nah. Well, except for that one complication. Oh, no. Nothing too major. Just the Class D might have dropped the cowbell and heard it ring. What? That's like the only thing that shouldn't have happened. Yeah, he's a bit of a Butterfingers, but luckily I didn't hear it. Well, then at least you're safe. What's going to happen to the Class D guy? Well, at first, he's going to be very paranoid. He'll see SCP-513-1 every 15 to 200 minutes. Each time he sees it, it will be worse than the last. His fear and paranoia will consume him. And finally, unable to take all this, he will end his own life. That's, um... Pretty heavy, Doc. Is there anything we can do, you know, to help him? I have no idea how we can help. Come on, there has to be a way. I've never really dealt with this SCP before, Corey. There is one person who might be able to help, though. Who? Who is it? You're not going to want to see him. Oh. Him. Yeah. It's the right thing to do. Are you going to say anything, or are you here to torture me with your face? 
Wow, that's kind of harsh, Hooper. Oh, that's harsh. But locking me up and throwing away the key, that's fair? You were working with Otis. He was selling SCPs in secret to bad people. What was the Foundation supposed to do? What was I supposed to do? Not betray your best friend. You literally tried to kill me. As I see it, you betrayed me first. Why are you here? SCP-513. How do I reverse its effects? Reverse it? <laughs> Please tell me you heard the bell. No, I didn't hear it. A Class D heard it. So? That's what they're there for. No man is an island, Hooper. When that bell tolls, it tolls for all of us. When did you get so literate? I've changed a lot since I joined the Foundation. I've learned a lot about the world and myself. Well then let me teach you some more. SCPs take no prisoners. They have no heart or feeling. They do not relent in their destruction. You can't stop SCP-513. It's a bell and you can't unring it. Well, there has to be something I can do. You need to learn you can't save everyone, Corey. Well, I'll never stop trying. Good luck. Bye, Hooper. This cage won't hold me forever. <laughs>